Quick tip before you start the video, check out the description box down below. What is your favorite exercise? Oh, I know, chewing. Hey guys, how are you? Today, we're diving into a topic that affects millions of lives worldwide, the impact of exercise on chronic diseases. Chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and arthritis are leading causes of disability and death. But did you know that regular exercise can play a crucial role in managing and even preventing these conditions? So whether you're managing a chronic condition or looking to prevent one, stay tuned as we uncover the incredible effect of exercise and chronic diseases. Let's get moving. How does exercise affect chronic diseases? Exercise can slow disease-related muscle strength loss, stabilize joints, and maintain joint mobility through flexibility exercises like stretching. Additionally, balanced exercises can reduce the risk of falls. It is recommended that individuals reduce sedentary behavior and aim for 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic physical activity per week. This can lower the risk of chronic illnesses such as breast cancer, type 2 diabetes, and stroke. Number 1. Running To keep your running routine interesting, try interval training or switch to off-road trails. Invest in good running shoes and always stretch before and after your runs. Listen to your body and slow down if needed to prevent injuries and ensure you can keep running. Number 2. Strength Training for healthy bones and muscles, do strengthening exercises two to three times a week. The gym is a convenient place for workouts regardless of the weather. Focus on compound exercises that work multiple joints and muscles for better functional strength. Start with bodyweight exercises like planks, lunges, wall sits, and sit-ups. If you're new to the gym, get a trainer to help you learn proper form and avoid injuries. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up before watching the rest of the video. Thank you! Number 3. Yoga Yoga may look relaxing, but it requires strength and flexibility, making it a challenging workout. Start with a Hatha class to learn the basics before trying more intense styles. Beginners should begin with a Hatha class to learn fundamental poses before progressing to more vigorous styles like Vinyasa and Ashantaka. Number 4. Cycling Cycling integrates exercise into daily commutes and weekend activities, meeting weekly aerobic recommendations while boosting cardiovascular fitness and reducing stress. It's a perfect way to unwind after work. Number 5. Swimming Swimming is a low-impact aerobic activity that reduces stress on your skeletal system, making it suitable for all ages and those recovering from injuries. Incorporate a variety of strokes like freestyle, breaststroke, backstroke, and butterfly to engage different muscle groups and achieve a full-body workout. As we get to the end of the video, it's important to remember that whether it's running for cardiovascular health, practicing yoga for balance and flexibility, or swimming for a low-impact workout, each form of exercise offers unique advantages. By staying active and incorporating a variety of exercises into your routine, you not only enhance physical well-being, but also foster mental clarity and emotional resilience. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and also check out the video on the end screen. Until the next video, goodbye!